Hi all, this is Tim Olson of Evolution Software. In today's video tip, we're going to show some surface modeling utilities for imprinting text and curves onto surfaces or solids. For the purpose of our demonstration, we're going to imprint some text onto the front of a canoe. And what we're going to use for the imprint tool is from the Surface Utilities palette, the Project Curved Surface tool. And what's important to imprint it, we have to make sure we press either the option or the control key down. I usually do that at the time we specify the direction of the vectors. Now you can see it went ahead and it projected it, and it projected the curves and it split out all the faces associated with regions that were broken out from the text projection. Let's go ahead and change our shark bite. Let's change the spelling on bite, and you can see that the text is associative so that when we change the text, it'll update our uh, face breakouts onto the canoe. And now that we have separate face breakouts, let's go ahead and show one operation, being the ability to change the color of a face. And we'll use the deep select tool to select the letter H. Another operation that we can do now that it is a separate face is uh, we can offset it so that uh, we can more or less create like an emboss onto our, our canoe. And so let's go to the offset face tool and we're going to offset a quarter of an inch. Uh, let's go back to our data entry tool and let's make a little bit more. Let's go 0.35 inches. And this is actually all part of the same body. It's not a separate body that's been booleaned onto it. Next, let's, uh, let's add a, a blend onto the front face of the S and we'll do a tenth of an inch blend because this is a small uh, letter. And when we do a face blend, it will grab all of the edges on that face. So it's just a quicker way of doing it when you have complex edges for a, a, a body. Next, let's go ahead and let's just show only our, our canoe with our imprints on it with a couple operations. And we're going to go to the model sheet tool and we're going to make a, a 2D drawing out of it. And we're just going to have visible lines, no hidden lines, so let's turn that off. And we're just going to best fit it into uh, our default top view. And now let's, uh, let's zoom extents and change it into a front view. Here's our front view and then now our uh, zoom extents. This just changes the scale such that it fills up the drawing view. And if you zoom up you can see our or shark bite is actually showing up in the 2D drawing because it was imprinted faces. Uh, one thing I'm going to do to improve the resolution, I'm going to change super fine and even distribution. So now when we zoom up, you can see all of our, our, our lines are touching precisely. If we go back to our original drawing, there is some associativity uh, between the model and the um, drawing. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, modify the location of our shark bite. And I'm going to go to the Preferences General, and I'm going to turn off Enable Auto Resolve. I'm going to do that so I can do a couple modifications without it regening each time that I do my modifications. And then let's go into the front view, and let's move it along to the left and along to the type top. And now we'll go ahead, after we've got it positioned where we want, we hit Resolve Links. And this will regenerate the projection onto the solid, as well as any face coloring that we have. The, the offset face and the blend, they too will get uh, regenerated. Now, uh, you do have to keep in mind if you have a dramatic change that changes the uh, faces and edges of the part, it's not going to regen. It'll get confused. So let's go ahead and go back to our drawing. And now we're going to go back and zoom up. And you can see our shark bite is now moved up. Uh, to the left and top from where it originally was for our 2D drawing. One last thing, let's go ahead and change our model sheet draw property to uh, rendered. And you can see we can also have that as an option for our, for our canoe in our, in our drawing. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more tips and videos, please visit us at www.masterviacad.com.